y'all probably know what's going on. I'm sure you guys realize that the actions of one person affect a lot more than just one person, unfortunately. There's going to be a lot of things coming to an end. It was eight minutes. It was eight minutes into my stream yesterday. Eight minutes. And then I say the fucking the stuff that we're going to talk about. Uh, now, I want to talk about what a lot of people here are here to hear about. Um, and that way, in case that's all they care, you know, they can go about their lives. Um, let's talk about Rich. Okay. Uh, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. <clears throat> so, uh, I've seen a lot of people who like to go online and say, Tech, tech Toad, you're a fucking grown ass dude, man. You're a grown ass man. Uh, sorry, Chad, this is a very touchy subject for me. Y'all know why. A lot of people want to go online and tell women or men that their stories are invalid because they want to come to the defense. of their content creators. That does not help anything. That truly does not help anything. People should not have to be afraid of telling their stories online. Oh, jeez. Ah, second time in a year I've had to talk about this shit. That's really bad. As a lot of you all know, I have been affected by assault in my life multiple times. I have also been raped. And I know the feeling when you share your story online or with your family and people don't want to believe you. It takes a lot of bravery to share those things. And just because someone waits a little bit doesn't mean that it's not true. It doesn't mean that it is true, but we should not shame anybody who is sharing their story. We trust. We trust. And then we confirm. I believe that's how this, I believe that's how the saying goes. In case you guys don't know, it took me 13 years, 13 years to talk about my own. And so when people want to use that as an issue, it takes some, it takes some time. It takes some time for people. Oh. So please, if you see 
men or women sharing their stories online about your favorite content creators. You can say nothing if you like. But you really shouldn't tell these people you're lying. Let people speak their truth. Let people speak their perspective. That's what I will say on that part. Oh my God. I swear to God. I don't mind talking on fucking streams. Fucking make it all come out, bro. Fuck. So I was good. I was good all day. I was good all day. All right, chat. Ah! Y'all know that's a very, very touchy subject for me. Y'all know that's a very touchy subject for me. Okay, now let's just fucking calm down. Ah. I want to talk about Rich Campbell now. The feeling that I felt yesterday was kind of like a... Uh, Uh, better yet, <laughs> I can show y'all a really cool anime reference. Uh, so this is kind of how I felt like yesterday, to put it into words. Let's get some good old anime in here, you know? Let's get some good old anime. That'll be fun. So, like this. Go, sit down, what it. I just kind of felt like fucking obliterated. And I don't, I don't really know how to feel. I still don't know how to feel, to be honest. Um, but as y'all know, I mean, Rich was one of my best friends. I mean, I, I considered Rich like a brother. Very rare I have that in my life. I mean, that guy was with me through like my entire divorce. And it sucks. Am I speaking to him? No. What's done is done. Uh, and we just move forward, I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I guess it's just time to move forward. Uh, that's pretty much all I can say about that. Uh, I also want to say, honestly, I'm I'm very proud with how OTK handled things. They handled it in less than 30 minutes. Great on them. They know what they needed to do, and they didn't hesitate. Honestly, I'm not an owner. I'm not a founder of OTK. I am merely just a talent. But to see that type of quick action made me happy, right? It, it, it really made me feel like they respected the situation. And that's hard. That had to have been hard. There's a lot of other things we need to talk about. Uh, but let's talk about the noodle shop. Obviously, Rich being gone affects more than just himself. And as you guys know, the noodle shop. <clears throat> Obviously. Crying is breathing. Crying is breathing. Control your breath and you can stop crying. <sighs> Obviously. You guys know uh, that Noodle Shop is my favorite thing. And obviously you guys know that Rich was a huge part of Noodle Shop. But I will just be completely legitimate. I'm going to do everything 
that I possibly can to not let Noodle Shop end. I will be real. We recorded three episodes of the Noodle Shop. Those are not going to be released. They were damn good episodes, but they will not be released. Now, is that in my power to do? No. But I'm going to be trying literally everything to make sure the noodlers still have something to watch. Or let's say, season two. Maybe. Once again, I'm just a talent. Take that with a grain of salt. But if it is entirely up to me, I don't want to give up on Noodle Shop at all. Obviously, either going to be me or Emmy, or me and Emmy, and maybe somebody new, who knows? Or maybe it'll fucking end and there's nothing really I can do. Maybe we'll rebrand and make a new podcast. I don't know. But as far as it goes, that was something that I wanted to do for my entire fucking life. I love that. Every Monday. Yeah, really like seeing the, uh, every morning on Monday, uh, really like seeing the noodlers. It was just nice, you know? Sorry, let me put on some background music or something just to kind of kill the time between the pauses. <laughs> Probably better. Yeah. Oh man, you never really realize how much this shit affects you until you have to talk about it. Oh god. I was literally this morning I was talking about how I wanted to watch Parasite and Helsing. I was I was fine. I was fine. Dude, I thought I was gonna come on here and clown around. Fuck. I did not realize I was so emotionally attached to fucking round noodler fucking eggy party. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> I mean, I guess I have a lot of shit going on in my life right now, huh? Hey, man, first the wife, then your best friend. <laughs> I sure hope nothing bad happens to my cats. Holy fuck. Ah. <sighs> I mean, shit, y'all know how people say that, uh, hey man, tech tone stories can't be real. I don't know what happens, bro. Just fucking bad shit follows me like the fucking plague. Oh, wait, I lost three of the cats. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, Alright. Give me one second. I'm just gonna get a tissue. should be right here. Alright. Talk about Rich. Talked about uh, the victim. Talked about Noodle Shop. Talked about the cats. Talked about the wife. <laughs> oh man, that's a lot to talk about. That's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot for one stream, man. It's a lot. Is there anything else that I haven't talked about that I probably should have? Oh yeah, shit, am I going on break? <laughs> no. <laughs> should I? Probably. Do I want to? No. I love streaming. I 
love making content. And when people tell me to go on break, I don't know why I would want to go on break in my favorite thing. I've been doing this for like four years, dog. It's one of the few things that actually makes me happy. It's like one of the few things that makes me feel complete. I have such a fucking good chat. I have such a good community. So no, I really don't want to go on break. I just want to be fucking okay. I just want to be good and just fucking, just for a fucking little bit, man. I don't know why so much bad shit happens around me, dog. I feel like I'm cursed sometimes. Oh. Sorry, I'm spiraling a little bit. Oh. Hey. If you're asking me how any of my friends are doing, I'm sure they will tell you next time they go live and every, everybody's doing the best they can. All right.